Hey, what's up? It's Ice Grenade here, and we're going to show you how to make some working Kino style teleporters. You go up to the teleporter, it says press F to initiate pad, and now it's asking for a mainframe link, and then we go over to where you link it. It's all got working effects and sounds, and now we can use the teleporter. It puts you in that room with the effects, and then it puts you into the pat room. And you can set how long you want to stay here, and then it will bring you back. Okay, and then we're back here. You can see that it has a cooling timer and you can also set how long you want that as well. Now you can put the backup punch where you want. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is download the file here. And this is the archive that will contain everything. Just hit download and save file. Extract it anywhere on your computer so that it's not a zip anymore and it's just a folder. And then go into the folder until you get to here. Drag the top three folders into your Call of Duty Black Ops 3 root folder. Once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to open up that text document and copy everything from here to here. Make sure you get the last set of commas there. Control C, copy. Then we're gonna to wanna to go to our share, raw, sound, aliases, user aliases. Edit and open that up. And I'm just gonna paste that down there so we can save that. Next thing, go back to the instructions. We're going to want to copy this line into your map name GSC. You can quickly get to your map name if you go to launcher, right click on your map, then go to show zone folder, go up a folder, go to scripts, ZM, and then you'll have it here, your map name.gsc. Open that up. I've got my main function here and I'm just going to post it right at the end of the main function there. Let's go back to the instructions, copy this line here and paste it underneath the last declaration you have. Just gonna add a little comment there and save that file. Let's go back to the instructions. The next thing we need to do is copy these lines for the zone file and then go to your Call of Duty route use the map, go to the map, then go to zone source and open up the map name dot zone. At the end, do paste and I'm gonna save that. So now that we've added in the scripts and the declarations, we can now go into Radiant and add in the prefabs. So we're in Radiant now, we can go to our prefab browser. You right click up here and then go to prefab browser and hit reload. Once you've hit reload, you should see a new folder here and just open those up. Now we've got to place in these different prefabs. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna place is this setup black box, but I wanna put it under the map so it's out of the way. And what I'm gonna do is select the floor of the sky box. I'm gonna to go to grid size eight by pressing eight on the keyboard. You can also get there by clicking here, grid two, five, six. I'm gonna drag the sky box down two clicks I'm gonna let go of that. I'm gonna select all the skybox walls and drag that down two clicks so it touches. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is take the volume, take that down two clicks and hide it. Then I'm gonna go up a bit more, select the FPS and go down two clicks and hide it. I'm gonna go up a bit more, select Umbra, go down two clicks on that and hide it. And go up a bit more and get the skybox and go down two clicks and hide it. There we go. So we've extended the skybox and all of the volumes down and now we can take the black box drag it into the map and just put it one click down so that it's under the map and it doesn't get in the way and players won't die because they are inside the volume it's out of the way and no one's going to see a black box the next thing we're going to do is to have a pap room i'm going to just make a room here and bring it up to a different texture CSG hollow and then we're going to put the pap spawn in here okay so in the pap room you're going to want to have at least four spawn points for four players like that and now all four people can spawn in there we also want to grab that pap machine and move it into here we have the pap machine in here and this is where they'll get put so the next thing i'm going to drag in is the mainframe which is where you're going to teleport from then i'm going to drag in the link pad which is where they will need to activate it from you're going to want to put something here maybe another teleporter pad so if you press m and then i found a small teleporter pad thing but you might want to make a better thing than that but at least you know where it's going to be. You could use anything. Just make sure that the trigger's there so that they can link the teleporter. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go back to the prefab browser. Put the final position in. And we put one there. 
but we're gonna wanna hit spacebar and add in another few here so that if four people are playing your map, they can all use the teleporter. If you wanna change any of the settings so that you can customize it a bit more, you can go to share, raw, scripts, and then go to the NSZ folder and open up the teleporter script. So here we have the script and you have some variables here you can set. So you can change the kill radius, the cooldown timer, the cost, the time you have in the pap room, and an option for debugging. And you can set these to whatever you like and save it. Okay, that's about it. If you save your map now and go back to launcher and hit compile link and run on your map, then click on build and now you have a working teleporter. So I've just been given an improved script that will allow you to have a temporary room that you visit before you visit the Pack-a-Punch and you could put an Easter egg in here or just have it as some crazy room you can check out for a minute. To do that, you're gonna wanna go to the prefab browser, pull in the random room spawn map and then make sure you have four of these, one for each player. Thanks for watching and take care. Cheers.